What do you want? I am Navarro. I was sent by Don Alvaro, who told me to speak to you about the remote of horses you were supposed to deliver. The remote of horses? I delivered them a couple of hours ago. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not what Don Alvaro says. He agrees that you took the money, oh yes. But you never gave him the horses. Para Dios! You did not live up to the pact, senor! You know I'm honest. Alvaro is feeding a bunch of lies to you. <laughs> hey, muchachos, you hear that? No. Esto es su nombre honesto. <laughs> <laughs> Pero basta, viejo. Hand over the money and spare yourself the trouble of getting murdered. Stand aside, Navarro. Let me pass, you hear? <laughs> bueno, chico, get the money. Everything's all right now. Hello, Uncle Dan. Django. 
Mary and me, we decided to leave this house. We can't go on living here. We're going to move to San Juan. You'll come with us, won't you? No. And you're staying, too. Our father loved this house. He never would have left it. Not for anything. Not for anybody. May as well not even try. Why don't you put it down? You know father didn't use it. I know. Django. For heaven's sakes, don't. They'll kill you. Don't go, Django. Adios. Go, Django. I saw him right away an hour ago. With the bag on his shoulders? Yes, a leather bag. Stupid cow, tell me why you didn't call me! My own son. 
stole from me my money. Por Dios, the boy robbed me. Me! How can we believe that? You heard Navarro! Un hombre! Un vero hombre! Any one of you who sees Chico, my son, I give the orders to murder him! two days, and we still haven't laid eyes on Navarro. If he won't come here, we will have to go there, Johnny. some wine. Yes, Don Alvaro. It is very hot this evening. Isn't it, Johnny? That's right, Don Alvaro. Mighty hot. Navarro has tricked us. Dolores! Tequila! Hurry up! You can stay with me until Navarro gets back. Let go of me, you pig! <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> he was right! I'm Django, looking for Navarro. Why, he's riding after his son who stole some money from him. Where's he headed? Uh, down the road, south. Whoever killed my son, step forward. I said, or I'll kill you one at a time. You now have two minutes. 
to decide to talk. Step forward! kill every man in the village. It won't be easy. There are people around here who can handle guns just as good as they can. And don't you forget it, Judy. And don't you forget they got Smith. He'll wind up talking. No, he won't. The two minutes have run out! Get away! Get over there. sei venuto a fare? Navarro! You found it easy to kill my father. That right, Navarro? But I don't know what you are talking about, gringo. It's time you learned. We'll see, amigo. Fast with your gun, amigo. Hey, look out! <laughs> <laughs> bueno. <laughs> My name is Juan Jose Vasquez de Oro. No, too complicated. Barrica to you. Man of business. Naturally, only when there is some business to be done. Eh? But I am useful and resourceful and can be of great help to you. As a matter of fact, it's lucky you ran into me today, yes. <laughs> I told you not to show up around here. Just wait until things have calmed down. I've come for my share of the money. That's not part of the deal. You'll get it when we cross the border. Not now. I want it now. I don't want to stay in this damn town one minute more than I need to. 
You'll be staying for some time. man who just came to the village. Ever see his face? I see he knows how to manage his 45. Let's get out of here. I'm in no hurry. Here's to the money. <laughs> called Django. And Navarro, what's he been doing? He'd run off south and Django's following him. Let's go, boys. What do you want? We're looking for Django. Django's not here. And we don't know where he is. That's what folks usually have to say when you're looking for someone. Well, we'll just look for ourselves, all right? What do you want? Django.
Just remember to tell your brother that Don Alvaro is on his trail. If he doesn't show up, we'll get him. Does it hurt bad? There's nothing, Mary. Nothing. It don't matter. Navarro killed my father. Hey, bring us a bottle. I understand, amigo. So all you have to do is find the ten thousand dollars. And now old Barry has an idea. All right, Barrick. Leave it to me. There's someone hold up in the hotel. A killer. I know the man. And he knows something about it. <laughs> now, as far as my work goes, you'll give me 10% as soon as you have the dollars in your pocket. Huh? Take it. That's not much. Saludos. Saludos, amigo. <laughs> You're bringing me good news, Johnny. No news at all of Navarro. Just that Django got rid of a few of his men. Django. Django Foster. Find him tomorrow. And Navarro. And not without the gold. I can hardly wait to see Django. Just make sure he's still breathing a little. Go on. But you still owe me a bottle for this morning. I'll and yes. pay. And if I'm dead, I'll pay anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, indeed. What do we do about those two? We're just gonna have to make him get out of here. 
Don't only bring his trouble if they stay in town. Those men have got something in mind. I go out and take a look. No, stay inside. We can watch better from in here. Here's the mouse crawling out of his hole. Very big mouse, amigo. Grace, we want. There he is with the others. Just keep an eye on him. Give me a bottle. It seems the two of you are looking for that gold. $10,000 is sure a lot of money. How do you know about it? <laughs> now, Fred, don't be a fool, boy. <laughs> you can't beat a full house. Everybody knows in this town. <laughs> and you mustn't cheat. And everyone knows that the man who got it is far away by now. That's funny, Mr. Gray. You know what we think. We think the gold is still here and we're going to find it. Hmm. I'm here to advise you to go. Leave this town, hombre, before morning. <laughs> I'll leave this town when I've found my gold. You know, Navarro told everyone the gold was his, too. I don't try to cheat. <laughs> Can't cheat the old man. So get moving. Stay. A lot of us know how to manage a gun pretty good. I don't believe you. They're outside waiting for you. 
you got about an hour to get out of town. Waiting for you. You've got visitors, Django. Hmm. Too many. Io esco con te. Me lo devo guadagnare il mio 10%. Alvar sent me here to take back the 10,000. Don't worry, we'll get that gold, Django. <laughs> Who are they? They were Alvaro's men. Alvaro? That's right, Alvaro. What's he got to do with this? We'll find out, amigo. Hey! Hey, you! Listen! Listen a minute! The bodies are piling up around here, and I don't intend to work anymore on credit. So either you pay me now, or I'll just leave them where they are. That's not how it was. You'll get paid the minute we find the gold. Now get back to work. Get the work, it says. Not even Alvaro knows the money's in town. If it weren't for those two, we'd be out of here. Go find Holbo. Say I've got a good piece of business. And tell him to come over here quick. Um, uh, uh, 
to tell us about the gold? Well, well, you see, I'd like to leave the village with my family. Why? No one is going to harm you. Yes, I know, sir, but I... I... Get out or I kill you. But I'd still like to go, if I may. This was a nice place before you came. But I've got my family to think about it. Well, nobody's tying you down. But maybe it's better you look at what uh, he digs with him, eh? Huh. I have nothing to hide. Wonderful. Huh. We better start keeping a watch. You dig first, sir. Sí, bueno. Ray, let's try now. He's gone back in. We can't, Judy. You can see everything from that window. If we make one move, he'll be on us. Sit down and talk. Alvaro, what's that a drink? Huh. I have some fine bourbon. saying there's a nice piece of work. Bird was right. Foster and his son stole quite a lot of money from him. They were supposed to deliver a big remove of horses, and they didn't. And to top it off, Django killed four of my men yesterday.
I told you more than once, Alvaro. The men you hire are good at everything. Except shooting. And I suppose that's just fine with you, amigo. This way you obviously get a percentage of the gold. You get it back for me and a thousand is yours. I'll get it. Of course, my price is 15. Alvaro's waiting for you.
If those men find out, it'll be the end. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, the stagecoach leaves for San Juan. And you'll be on it, my dear. You and the money. No one will notice you. I'll join you later. Without that money, I can go when I please. <laughs> Have a drink. tried to fool me. That's why Navarro was forced to kill him. And then your brother, little Django, took his gun and shot four of my men, but he'll get what's coming to him. All right, lock her up inside. Vegetarian. And I want nothing to do with you. Thank you. It's so hot tonight. Yes, hot. Very hot. You know, it's like an oven in there. Well, then, why is Gray inside? Isn't he hot? He's sleeping. 
Anyway, so many awful things have been going on around this place. It's better to stay where you are. You're right. But until we find that money, lots of other things are going to happen. But you mustn't be scared. After all, you have nothing to do with all this. Anyway, I'm so bored in this place. I decided I'm leaving. You mean it? Uh, when, Miss Judy? Tell me. Tomorrow, at sunup. On the stagecoach to San Juan. San Juan. What times I had there. Mm -hmm. Please come there and visit me. Tell you where. Gray and I'll be splitting up. We're separating tomorrow. I am sorry that you're going. I am afraid I'll be missing you very much. So please don't forget San Juan. I wouldn't want to miss you. You can count on it. As soon as we have found the gold, I'll come to San Juan. I've been away too long. Allora è presto, signore. Barrica. Adios, Barrica. Adios. to the village. Tell Django's sister's waiting here with us. And not to come without the money. Yeah, right away. Signorita Judy, I've come to see you off. Allow me to open. May I? Thank you. Careful. Uh, well, I'll look forward to it. Yes, oh! oh! I see you in San Juan. <laughs> That's right, throw it down.
Don't let him draw Django. Get him now. Come on. Tell you, amigo, no one fool's barrica. Django, that was wonderful, really wonderful. Now, lads, you can give me some money, eh, Django? Just a little. You have so much there. I've been working so hard. Please, Django. Hey, what's the matter with you, viejo? Can't you wait until we are ready? What do you mean? I'm an honest I'll businessman. I'll give you your money. I should think so after all that work. Django. Django. Don Alvaro wants to see you, alone. It's about your sister. And he says, bring along the money. Otherwise... What do you mean, otherwise? I can't say anything else. But you better just come to the ranch. What is it? What do you want? It's been some time. Django doesn't have so far to ride. It'd be smart to go down to the village. I don't believe he's going to bring that money. You'll bring it, all right. If you're so sure of that, why don't you pay us in advance? wasn't part of our deal. If you want nothing more to do with it, get out. You've cheated me for the last time, Alvaro. Who do you think you're talking to?
took care of them all. <laughs> will be here in a minute with the gold. Well, very good work, my friend. Mark, I'm sorry about your 10%. Alvaro wants it all, now. Don't worry, Django. The life of your sister is far more important. Adios, amigo. Adios. I might have known. Yes, indeed, I might have known that I would go to all the trouble of giving 34 corpses a beautiful barrel and not make a penny. All right. I'll pay for your funeral if you ever die. What more can you ask for, huh? <laughs> well, I've got news for you. Tubs of lard like you die first. I'm going to rob your pockets and just leave you lying in the middle of the street. Yes, I will. <laughs>
were very smart to come, Django. Now get off your horse. I said get off it. The two of you. Carl told me you'd be here. It was the last thing he said before he died. What was that? He tried to put one over on me. The Luda. Django! <laughs> Better not try any other tricks, Django. If you've really got the money inside that sack, we're going to be all right. I got the money here, Hondo. Just stop right there. Off with that gun. I mean now. Django. Bring the bag, Django.
Condon! You're all by yourself now. Come out! Barica! I'm on my way, hold on. Ah! It's all over, Mary. All over. They used to call me the Man of Iron. <laughs> he could have hit you in the head. Look at this. My head is even tougher. <laughs> Thanks for the gun.